cervical vertebrae there are seven in number cervical vertebrae are there typical cervical vertebrae are third fourth fifth and sixth atypical cervical vertebrae are first second and seventh nature of typical cervical vertebrae first we'll see about body body is small compared to thoracic and lumbar vertebrae body transverse measurement is greater than anterior posterior diameter superior surface have upward projecting lip on either side next we'll see vertebral foramen this is vertebral foramen what you see here in this picture this vertebral foramen is large than body and it is triangle in shape next we'll see pedicle pedicle projects laterally backwards as you see here in this picture it unites with the body at midway between upper and lower border now we'll see about lamina lamina is long and narrow spine is a special nature here you can see a small and bifid now we'll see about articular processes these are articular processes the flat oval superior articular process faces upwards and backwards inferior articular processes faces downwards and forwards transverse process transverse process has foramen transversum this foramen is surrounded by two roots which are called as anterior root and posterior root here these are the anterior and posterior roots the anterior and posterior root here you can observe they end in a tubercle form which are called as anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle both anterior and posterior tubercle are joined by a thin bony bar which is called as costo transverse bar which is also known as intertubercular bar which you can appreciate here in this picture these are normal or typical nature of cervical vertebrae